<laughs> Just Nate, this is such a massive fight, man. You guys put this together, so give me, give me a feel. Where's your excitement level like right now compared to like past fights? Far, far from excited at all. The more, more of this is just like uh, makes me just want to get to the point and get done, get out of here. But um, it comes with the territory, so it's all good. I can deal with it. But um, um, what day is it? Wednesday? Yeah. Should <laughs> Friday or Saturday? Or <laughs> Does it change the dynamic at all? This is the first fight you've had in a while where I don't feel like, you know, there's no tension, right? There's no beef. I mean, this is two guys. That yeah, but just, just the Connor fights were a little tension, you know, because he about that and like it to be all about that. And I'm with it too. It's like, whatever you want to do, we still got to fight each other. And I still believe I put in a better work than you on uh, against anybody. And um, so all that talking or no talking before that Connor fight, I had 34, 32 fights, 33, 34 fights or something like that. And, uh, that uh, most of them, no one said nothing. So uh, either way is fine. Now, when you think back to the fight against uh, Pettis, when you got on the mic and you started talking about the BMF title, did you ever imagine that it could be on this scale and and to be actually fighting for a physical belt? Well, I knew that. I knew personally that I knew before he had his last fight and a long time ago, I'm like, where everybody said that, who was a fan of the sport, because if I was a fan of the sport, I would want to see me versus Masvidal, Masvidal versus my brother, because everybody else is weak, whack, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, there's some good, there's some great fighters out there, and a lot of good, good attitude and good, good personalities, all that, but um, as far as just straight up fighting, what we all tuned in for initially anyways, is for a fight war, like, I, I figure... If anyone had, was paying close enough attention, the best fight that you could imagine would probably be me and him, or him and my brother, something like that. What do you think about actually having a physical belt to fight on Saturday, this BML, BMF belt? I'll be honest with you, I don't care about the belt. It's just like, <laughs> what? it's what it was. It, the belt just, just it had to add to it because the, the whole time the, the belt is just a credential for all these guys and away from the... Uh, you know, think they they had the game, had everybody in the game anyway, and I'm like, I already know they had everybody in the game anyway. I never chased a belt my whole career. I was never after a belt. I was just after a fight, a win, and you know what I'm saying. BJ Penn was the champion forever when I was when I was uh, I had a lot of respect for my train with him, and uh, I was I was you know grew up watching him, so I was never hunting him down. So I was just fighting. Showing everybody as the best fighter. I, I wasn't chasing the belt like the rest of these guys. So now the belt just comes with it. I guess I, I, you don't want to put it. The belt's already mine anyway. I, I'm the one who created it. You've been in the game a long time. Why do you think it took so long for you both to get maybe the respect you deserve? Just like people trying to learn the, the uh, physical game and catch up. I think uh, I think I've had a, uh, had the physical and technical game. In martial arts, you know, they spend their whole careers trying to catch up to be the best. I think I've been the best for a long time. I just had to figure out how to fucking put it out there and let it be known that, that I'm the best in, in, this, in the whole sport. Nate, you, yeah, you said uh, the other day um, on the conference call that you took a couple of days off from training. You felt like you were kind of overtraining a little bit after the last fight. Mm -hmm. What did you do? Like, what did you do on your break? Ate a lot of food, chilled out, got, got, and even when I'm on take off, I do active recovery. I still train when I'm not. I'm just not killing myself. So I took an easier week, and that's what the whole thing was. I was like, that's probably why my testosterone goes off. Take a few days off because I already go harder than everybody in the gym anyway. You know what I'm saying? Chris goes pretty hard, but he, I'm still a little bit ahead of him. <laughs> So Nate, this is basically on you. You basically willed the BMF title into existence, and I'm sure you want to keep on defending it. But Dana White just said that this is a one-off thing. Look, any, anybody who fights me, it's gonna be like this. It, this, it, this is what, I, this is what it is. You know, about this motherfucker. That's what it, I already am. It don't need that. I was just letting it be. No, now it's on a large scale. Win, lose, belt, no belt. Every fight I fight is gonna be the biggest fight. About this motherfucker fight. Cause I ain't fighting no suckers. No more. Anymore. I said that years ago, just not to you guys. So I ain't fighting no more suckers. So. And who else do you think? Two is more questions, gang. Who else do you think is in the sort of BMF division? Who's worth fighting for you? Um, we're gonna have to watch and see where you know what I'm saying. Just like they're gonna have to bring bring some attention to to themselves to make us recognize. You know, we gotta hear. We gotta hear them. I gotta hear. I gotta hear them. I said that before. It's like. You want you want to fight? We better hear it. We better see it. We better do something impressive, something good.
Nate Hop Humper was. That's what I'm doing. I'm finding the guys who are doing something good. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I, I would uh, uh, expect the same from the other end. You know, do good, talk, talk, get the fight, whatever you got to do, but make make sure you ain't no more sucker. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Hey, it's good talking to all you guys, man. All right, West Side. <laughs>